The course I played yesterday, which is a great course also, and that course is... It's called Water Chase. And that course is in Southeast Fort Worth. And it's just off exit 24 uh, on 30 going west into Fort Worth. And that was a really fun course. And on top of that, I played the par 3 course first, not knowing that there were, was a par 3 course and at 18. The par 3 course was not a great course. It was okay, but it was a nice par 3 course. And it was a good challenge, and um, it was much more of a kitty course than anything else, but it was a good challenge. You want to go out and work on your irons and um, your long irons, your short irons, your chips and stuff, because there was a lot of short holes. Some of them were um, 135, 125. There's 175 yard par threes and stuff, and and there was a 50 yard par three, um, you know, behind the driving range. He tucked a couple extra holes in there. This is this is one of those courses. It's just long, and some of the holes are tight, and some of the holes are wide, and some of the holes you have to hit fades off the tee. Some of the holes you have to hit, uh, cut shots off the tee, and it has like you know a bunch of um, par threes that are 175, 200, 250. Nice par threes from the back tees, and certainly I cannot complain about it at all. It was a it was a great course to play, good verticality. I loved it. I had a great time playing on it. Marsh water. I mean, it was water. I remember when I saw the the um the shots of it. It was like I was just looking at the course map. It was like water, 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 water. I was like, yeah, I gotta play this. I mean, we gotta do this. But here's the trick. Um, I think this was a, a solid 140. Um, 145 course, even rated in golf now. I'll have to put the, the numbers up to be sure about it. But let, here's the trick. This course, almost all the tee shots were tight shots into lanes of trees where there was water somewhere around the landing area. And you weren't going to go in the woods and find your ball if you blew it off the tee. And there was no way you were going to go over and retrieve your ball if you put it in the water off the tee. Or in your second shot. But generally, on the th on the second and third shots, it was open enough. And on the par threes, it was open enough to where there wasn't too much trouble advancing and getting on the green. So it was sort of a hybrid course. The tee shots were difficult, but the second and approach shots were easy, or relatively easy. As long as you didn't duff it into the creek ahead of you, and were almost always was a creek cross in the fairway and a lake off to the right and waste off to the left. As long as you didn't duff your ball, you weren't going to be in too much trouble. Okay? You just had to have enough sense not to duff your ball and put it into the water or the waste. Now, of course, that becomes a game of laying up or taking those long shots, those 200 and 175 and 215 yard irons taking your chances and at least crossing the waist or laying up and trying not to go in the waist when you lay up and that's always a fun challenge because you know sometimes you lay up and you're you're going to play too close to the layup and you're going to go into the waist or you're going to hit it light and short and you're going to leave yourself 50 to 75 yards before the waist so you end up only laying up another you know 50 yards at most from where you were and then sometimes you're going to try to go for your, you know, try to cross or try to go for the green. And even if you can't reach the green, you still have like 50 to 75 yards between the green and the waist that you're trying to cross. And there's still a chance you can put it in that waist or, you know, top and put it in the waist or hit it short and not quite cross the waist and leave it on the long side and, or pull it left or right. So that kind of stuff is fun. It's always good thinking man's round of golf when you have waste and water and, cro and creek crossings, and sometimes these, these holes had two creek crosses. There was one hole, I think, on the, on the back, like number 12. There was a creek, a wide creek, that was maybe 50, 50 yards from the green. Before that was another creek that was maybe 25 yards back towards the tee box away from the second creek. So you could look and see that first creek, but if you didn't know that second creek was there, you might think, oh, I've crossed that the first creek, no problem, my ball's behind it. You go back there, no, the, the creek right behind it is even bigger. 
and you didn't cross that creek, <laughs> okay? It, it, it was, if you didn't see that ball bouncing back near the green, there was a good chance you didn't get back near the green. So there was, it was a lot of fun in that regard. Um, the course reminded me a lot of, like, Oak, um, Oak Creek in, in um, Fort Washington or uh, whatever it is, um, down Route 4 in, in Maryland. It was uh, a nice course, um, really nice course, fun course, lots of challenging holes, and the greens were almost perfect. They were a little bit fast, <laughs> if anything. They were well sanded, nicely cut short. They were like it was like a pool table, almost too fast. They were really really nice greens, and they had good slope on them and everything. And it was just nice um, uh, swales around the green. I, I couldn't you couldn't really ask for a better course in terms of condition. It was in excellent condition. Uh, obviously, there were some parts that were not perfect, um, but really nice. I it was. Probably one of the more fun courses I played. Absolutely have to give this course a B plus. It was a wonderful course. I would play it again happily anytime. It was a really, it was a, a really nice course overall. And worse of all, I got on it for thirty dollars with a golf now hot um, hot deal that I had had to postpone because I couldn't make the tea time and I ended up postponing it by two days and I get there and they're telling me oh we're not selling tea times so and we don't have credit cards <laughs> so we can't we're, we're changing management so we can't take your money even if the rate's different for now versus when you play you know you paid for it, which was a twilight time just go out and play and have a great time. Just go out, take a cart, and have a good time. Just knock yourself out. I wasn't the only one out there by far. There were. It looks like they had a tournament or something out there. Yeah, they had a tournament out there on the big course. I but I thought that the smaller course, the part three course, was the actual course. I was getting ready to go out and play another course. That part, yeah, part three after playing nine was not all that much. Just a warm up. And then I went around to the other side of the course looking for the back side, you know, and found. Oh, this is where the course is, and you know, went out there and played in um, on the um, the real course. I was like, oh yeah, this is much better. This is the way it should be. And it was not just a good course; it was a great course, a really good course. That course, I could say, was a 145 or one at least a 140, 135, 140, long and tough from the back tees. It certainly. There's no doubt it was a harder course to play than the Marriott Golf Club at Championship Circle. And that was not an easy course. But that was harder to play than the um, Pioneer Creek course. But that was not as hard as Bear Creek. So Bear Creek slotted somewhere along with the Marriott Golf Club at Championship Circle. But both of those were not as hard as water chase they may change the name i'm not sure but they said they were changing the ownership it's, it, certainly that was a great course so all in all over the past um five weeks i've played five different courses but all in all it's been some good golf i thought i'd come down here and play in dallas in the dallas area and it would just be nothing be dry and sandy and, and long you know grass and everything you know believe, it or not. believe me this is not a dry place to play golf there's plenty of water here there's plenty of uh, grass. The only problem is, if anything, there's too much water, and it's killing the fairway grass in the rough. It's not doing, not having a problem with the marshy areas because you know they don't cut those, um, so they weren't cut. Okay, but the the shorter cut parts are really having a hard time with all this water because it's not letting them grow. It's it's half killing the grass, and that's the bigger problem. Anyway, so um, water chase. Great course, B+, plus. certainly have to give it a good grade, absolutely no question. The best greens I have played on in a long time, absolutely wonderful, down at Fort Worth on X24 into Fort Worth. Definitely, if you get a chance to play it, got to give it a shot. Wonderful course.